Have you ever watched a baseball game, seen something happen on the field, and wondered how does the rule book apply in this situation? Well, you're not alone. If you were watching the 2013 World Series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Boston Red Sox, you remember the infamous obstruction play between Will Middlebrooks and Alan Craig. Let's take a look at the moment of obstruction. Right here, you see Alan Craig. He has touched third and he is attempting to score. Will Middlebrooks has fallen down in an attempt to catch the baseball and impedes the progress of Alan Craig going home. The umpire at this point, he calls obstruction because he feels that Will Middlebrooks has impeded the progress of the runner. He inevitably gets thrown out at home plate, thus cementing the obstruction call. Let's take a look at the play in real time and see how it develops. Right here, John Jay is at home plate. He will hit a ground ball to second base. Dustin Pedroia comes up firing to home plate. Jared Saltalamacchia applies the tag and then makes an errant throw. The ball gets down the line, and there you see the obstruction right there. Alan Craig is going to be thrown out at home plate. The obstruction call has already been made at third base by the umpire, and so the umpire has deemed that the runner would have been out had it not been for the obstruction and awards the runner home plate. Let's take a look at how you can walk yourself through it thanks to Rules Explorer by Umpires Media. It happened at third base. It happened with a base runner. And thanks to this brilliant software, you can actually read the rule book and see a video description of it at the same time. Obstruction. A fielder who is not in the act of fielding a batted or thrown ball must not impede the progress of a runner advancing around the bases. In this play, the ball has been hit to left center. The third baseman fails to avoid the runner advancing from second. Notice that the left fielder is still in the act of fielding the batted ball at the time of the obstruction. At this point in the play, the umpire shall verbally declare, that's obstruction while pointing at it with the index finger of his right hand. The ball remains alive and in play. This is type B obstruction and the award to each base runner is based on the umpire's judgment. At the conclusion of the play, the umpire determines whether or not the obstruction was serious enough to cause the runner to be out. If it was, then the umpire shall call time and award the runner home. If the play is not close, as demonstrated in this second play at the plate, the umpire has the option of allowing the play to stand. On type B obstruction, there is no automatic award. I'm Greg Zahn. Stay tuned for the next episode of Understanding the Rules by Umpires Media.